Stations in industrial areas don't do so hot. Like even when I have really good connections, they don't do so hot. Like we've got 21 people, but I've got a bus and I've got a streetcar that comes here too. So I, I'm not so sure why that is. Also, this is a bit of a mess here. When did this happen? Look at that water right there. These barriers are almost useless. Anyway. So this is sort of supposed to be the downtown area. But when I look at the subway, which I think is right here. Yeah, see, only 60 people. I think I just simply don't have good connections. there, yeah, see, I, do I have a 
bus running through here. Yeah, I, I do have a bus. I've got a streetcar and I have subways, but very low ridership for some fucked up reason. Um, I've got a couple train stations. See, I try to locate things close to other forms of transit. And yeah, you get people walking between the two, but here, like, this is zero people. There's 108 people use that. A lot of people are waiting at the bus stops. I don't know. It's a mess. But uh, we're just going to roll with that. Uh, I really like this boulevard style that I've sort of... I, I don't know if other people are doing it, but I will. I'm sure other people are doing it. But I really like uh, putting frontage roads along all of my main so that, uh, and then putting paths in between so that there's a lot of pedestrian activity. Um, and then occasionally I'll put uh, these tunnels, like from here to here, you can see there's a tunnel. If I uh, go underground, you can see it there, people are walking. So yeah, I'll, I'll put in some tunnels every every so often. I think I can walk anyway, honestly. streetcars oh i love it so this is kind of my my main road that runs um kind of southeasterly from downtown this is this would be main street in real life this would be quebec street this would sort of be kingsway terminal avenue and then it kind of morphs into kingsway which in real life they don't actually connect but this is a really rough approximation of what Vancouver looks like, and I tried to get the angle right here for North Vancouver and West Vancouver. I tried to make all the roads kind of squiggly, because that's how they are, and kind of climb the mountain a little bit. And Highway 1 uh, is this highway, which actually follows the exact path that, um, that highway one runs in real life uh, almost to the T and then yeah so it cuts over here I think in real life though it kind of goes over here and then it whoo, shoots over here and then it ends up going up this way but at the moment I, I just have it um, looping like that <laughs> underneath because I, I, I didn't really have anywhere for it to go so um yeah, this is kind of a funky little interchange that I made right here. I like funky interchanges. I don't like the standard stuff. I, I don't care if it causes a little bit extra, a little bit of extra traffic. Like, I really like for some reason this is it, this just looks so peaceful to me. Um, this bridge uh, just sort of so smoothly goes down, whoo, touches the ground, and then whoo, swoops back up again. And at the point where it touches the ground. You have an arterial that just kind of connects and loops around an industrial district. And then you got the highway on ramp here. And, and then you just, I don't know, I really like it. And uh, I tried in the northern area here, I tried to segregate the industrial from the residential and commercial and in an office with water because there was just so many rivers up here that... Um, as you can see, the, the orange is all separated by water, except for over here. I kind of, I, I started making an industrial district over here, and then I realized that there's just, like, no way I'm going to be able to fill all of this with industrial. So then I had to sort of put these parks in here to keep the noise pollution a little bit lower, as well as the ground pollution. Uh, let's actually see what the noise is. Yeah, see, um, noise is still pretty bad. You know, you can never escape noise, I find. I find noise is always hard to avoid. Anyway, so I'm really actually liking this neighborhood here. Mostly because of the hills. I really like hills. And just the, the layering. And what that does. 
I have this little wrap around highway. It links up right here to this uh, this this uh, viaduct, which across which crosses the inlet. That is not there in real life. That doesn't exist. But I thought I would just you know take creative liberties. Neither does this. But I had to put this one in here to alleviate some traffic on this interchange here. That this interchange was so busy. So I, I put a little tunnel that goes from here, comes out here, links up here. So it serves the commercial area as well as the industrial area. And then goes across and down to here. So, and then this of course links up to the main highway again over here. So it gives people some options. So if I click here, yeah, you can see it's the traffic, uh, it splits. Some goes this way and some goes this way. Yeah, I always get that because I put the roads a little bit too close here because I wanted to make a streetcar loop. And um, that's apparently causing a lot of problems or the game is telling me not to do that. But that's fine. I'll just ignore that. Eventually this is all going to get, you know, all this we're going to get some greenfield development going in here but the problem is i don't like developing low density residential like it's not even fun for me it's very like all of this is taking me forever to build out because i simply like to build these saddle communities and then i like to sort of fill in the gaps in between as we go and you can see here this has sort of been my main area recently and honestly, at this moment, I think it's looking really ugly. Um, another thing I like to do is I like to uh, do smart growth uh, strategy. So I, I have um, metro stations, and I like to surround them with high-density development. And I usually include a little bit of office, a little bit of commercial, a little bit of um, residential around the edges. And then I always run like a streetcar or a bus to the station to link up the surrounding neighborhoods and um so i think this is going to be it for density maybe i'll put a little bit more on this side of the of the main road but then uh around that will all be low density similar to what i've got going on over here so there's a station here station here so there's high density here station here so there's a bit of high density here um and then there's i think is there a station here? I don't think there is a subway station here, but I put some high density in anyway. But yeah, um, there's a station right there. I think there's another station along here somewhere. So yeah, I try to keep the high density to where the stations are. For the most part, I know it's not perfect. Um, hey, let's look at the traffic. Okay, so this is really backed up. I never really see a lot of traffic here. What's going on? I think that my industrial area is just really backing up. I don't know if I can do anything about it, though. Like, where are these people going? A lot of them are going up this way. Some are going into there, but I think most of them are going into downtown, doing their little split. Yeah, so, oh, I've also got this underground highway here. I know it's kind of cheating, but it's, I had to, I seriously had to, because you cannot get away in this game without highways. But in real life, Vancouver does not have any highways, except for highway one and then the highway 99 but yeah my strategy for industrial is to try and keep it near the highways mostly um yeah even this is like the only place i could put my port because the map for some reason it came with these like these are designated as rivers i guess and so you can't put your port in there and there's like these waterfalls and so the the, I can't put my port where the actual port is, which is around here. But you know what? I 
did want to put some industrial here, so I put a, a couple incinerators and a, uh, a freight cargo train terminal here just for fun, and I know that messes everything up, but I did it. Um, so yeah, my, my cargo thing is here, but I didn't want the trucks going through these neighborhoods, so I built this highway. Just a two-laner. I like to keep it simple. And it runs around, and the first turnoff point is right he down here near the highway, so it gives the trucks a few options. As you can see, they can either uh, scoot over this way, run through here, go to this interchange. They can even go up into there if they want. Or they can um, jump up this little connector here, and then down along here. They can hop out through the tunnel here this way and come out there and go over the Lionsgate Bridge if they want. Or they can, you know, hang around in this industrial area here. Oh, that reminds me. I think I have a streetcar I wanted to sort of keep tabs on here because I don't think it serves a lot. Yeah, I made a little car loop and some overpasses to this underground metro station, but nobody really uses it. People who work in industrial areas do not like transiting to work for some reason. They always like to drive. Anyway, um, what would be fun to do today? I actually don't know how long I've been recording. Oh, about 17 minutes. Yeah, we'll do another 10 minutes here or so. Uh, we could develop this hillside, maybe. 140 people there. You know, I, I don't know why, but I just love to see a confluence of bridges and overpasses roads and trains I just and then I have this geothermal plant here I just love it I love when things are clustered together like that I got this ferry terminal and rail terminal 173 people using it all the time 140 people using this one and then also here um, I connected three bus lines to this little central area so I got one going over here I got another one going up here I got another one going here and I just oh, I love it and then I've got a train line linking the satellite center to the uh, the main terminal right there I guess that's why there's so many people using that station and then I've got these um, ferries that sort of go through Burrard Inlet and um, yeah and some gondolas too but you know gondolas are kind of boring Um, so it looks like I've got a pretty even demand for everything, so let's build out a small industrial district down here. from getting out. <laughs> I guess that works. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. And then I'll, I've got an incinerator. Maybe I should throw another incinerator in there. My garbage processing status is getting a little low. Throw one there. Um, now this is another area I've wanted to. I don't know what to do with this little spit of land here be aesthetically interesting. Like, I wonder if I can really... I, I really don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Good thing I've got a road here. Um, maybe I can kind of come off here. Pause it for a second. There we go. 
also have a little bit of developable area. Um, and you know what? It's going to be a bit of an exclusive community, so we'll put a dog park, because you know, every exclusive community has a dog park. You can play again, because the power's back on. Mm. You know, those yuppies, they love their dogs. because people, you know, getting on and all, they very like to buy a few things at some convenience store. Okay, so this neighborhood's already done. Perfect. Let's get some water. Beautiful. All right. So that's done. Now I want to develop. if I don't put all of them in, then I won't get inspired. There we go. Fill in the gap a little bit. There we go. There we go. I don't care if it's inefficient, I just, I, I'm trying to model the real world here. The way, that, the way that it is in real life is that there's a university on top of this mountain. This mountain is called Burnaby Mountain. Some interesting memories there. This is some interesting land right down here. There's some usable space here, but I think I'll ignore it for now. This would be an interesting place to fill in because, you know, it's bounded. It's nicely bounded.
residential development is.